talk more about the grid itself and about the tracks here on the outside oxy pads. So this is pad bank A. That's 1 through 16 you see here on the outside, right? What we see here, A is marked here, and then these pads represent those pads, which is 1 through 16. And so I can hit this here. I don't hear anything, but I do select all the sounds, or all, actually all the events. I select all the events right here in pad 1. And I can come to here where it says A1. I can click here. Now I get a sound. So you can hit and click right here on the name of the pad. It's pad 10, pad 11, pad 12, and so on. I will hear the sound of whatever's on that pad. I can also mute here and I can solo. So for example, I can come in solo, everything else is muted. If I turn solo off, everything else will be heard. And now I have this one track muted. If I play it back, it's muted, you can't hear it. If I click here, it's back where it started from. It's on. Now up here, you can see right here, this thing right here, this is the snap absolute. It snaps absolutely to the grid. This means that it, it sits there. When I hit that pad or when I actually put that note in, it's right there on the grid. It's directly there, it's not loose. Hitting pads selects events. And that's what happens here. I hit a pad right here. It selects all the events, right? Now, I just turned it off. So if I come to hit a pad, there are no events. We want to select events. So I come, let's turn this back to here. We don't. We click right there. We stop seeing the white border around each event. And so now I come back to here. Oop. That's the events, right? Now I go back to here. I hit a pad pad doesn't select the events. So what pads normally do, but it's off because right here is turned off. Let me turn it back on now. Hitting pad selects events. That's on now. It's red. And now I'll hit the pad again. There you go. And now it selects events.